In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Shoemaker 2015. The next new feature we're going to take a look at allows the user to create a pattern of punches on a panel piece. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, punches icon. Okay, so you can see we have a new icon here. So this is called Create Pattern of Punches. Okay, so as you can see, I have drawn a design line just on top of the panel, and this is going to be my limiting boundary. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select on the Create Pattern of Punches icon, and I get this dialog here. So this is asking me to choose the shoe piece that I want to create the punches on. It's then asking me for the punch shape, so I need to choose this from the punch library. So I'm going to go to Rounds, and I'm just going to choose a simple round shape. I'm then going to choose the limiting boundary, so that is this design line that I've created. So you can see that's now highlighted. So I'm then going to select on next. I can now uh, define my pattern, so I can uh, increase the number of rows, increase the number of columns. I can decide the spacing. I can also decide um, the size, as well as the scale, the rotation, and so on. So I'm going to just change the rotation maybe slightly maybe increase the number of rows and columns. Okay, so once I'm happy with this, I can uh, select next. You can then see uh, how my punches look once they're positioned and I can move these in any direction I want to. I can also again change the size if I want to as well. Okay, so once I'm happy with how I've positioned it, I can choose to turn on uh, skip punches that touch the boundary. So this just means any any punches sorry, that are touching the boundary won't be punched through the material. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to select on finish. Okay, so this is now going to start punching out my material. Okay, so you can see that has been created.